hi guys how are you doing i hope you're well i know that you are well actually i just finished my fourth why am i raising two hands my fourth number four bible study session with the children so today max one month since we started our jesus kids bible study and i'm so happy like my heart is full and today's turnout was more than the first tray. See, I'm just I just give God all the glory. I'm sorry. This my hand is paining me. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But this is my shoulder here. I woke up yesterday with pain in my shoulder. I don't know why. I don't know how. I just don't know. And this morning is like the pain increased, but I know it's going to go, but it's just very uncomfortable. So in case you see me acting some kind of way, I have a pain in my shoulder and it is it has spread, it has reached here. Anyway, so I was saying that today marked the fourth day of our Bible study, number four time. Four times that we have done it and I'm happy. You don't know that we are doing Bible study on Zoom. <laughs> okay, I am conducting Bible study session on Zoom with children. So today, like I said, we did number four. But um, the reason why I'm filming this video is that today, today we read Luke chapter five. And when I was teaching them something, I said I was going to come and share this here because this is like a teachable moment, not just for children, but for adults too. Me, I learned something valuable from here. So Luke chapter 5 from verse 17 to 20. I'm just going to read it real quick. So it says, I'm reading from NIV. One day, Jesus was teaching and Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem and the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Some men came. Pay attention. Maybe you know this story already. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their fate, he said, friend, your sins are forgiven. And then, like I told the children, um, see, this, is, this was not my first time reading this part of the Bible. Even in Sunday school, I remember back then when I was small, this part of the Bible is not new to me, but this is the first time I got this particular meaning from it. You know, you know how the Bible is a very wonderful book, full of deep revelation. What you learn when you read it today is not what you will learn when you read it tomorrow. There is like an onion with many layers. There are so many levels, so many things to learn. So this is what I learned that I taught the children today. So let me come and share it here with you. When I read it, it hits me like... Who are your friends? I asked the children the same question today. Who are your friends? What kind of friends do you have? I assume that these men that carried this paralyzed man were his friends because it cannot be total strangers that went through all this trouble to make sure that this man was healed by Jesus because this was a very rare opportunity where they had Jesus in their midst. And he was not going to be there for, for too long with them. So these men had to make sure that somehow, somehow, that Jesus got to lay hands or speak to their friend and heal him. And they went through the trouble. Have you ever imagined it? Because now, I, now the way I read my Bible now, I read it with graphics. I imagine, I picture what I'm reading so that I will get a full grasp of what I'm reading. So just picture this, a paralyzed man. And you know that, like I told the children today, paralyzed people, they tend to be heavy because their whole body and muscles and everything is relaxed, yeah? They tried to get him through the door. They couldn't get him through the door. So they climbed the roof. Have you ever imagined the efforts that it took these men to carry that paralyzed man up the roof? And then they opened the tiles. They removed tiles to get, to lower the paralyzed man, their friend, down and laid him right in front of jesus they were ready to do whatever it would take to make sure that jesus healed their friend it got me thinking that what kind of friends do i have what kind of friends do you have do you have friends that are ready to go over and beyond that are willing to go over and beyond for you these people cared for this their friend's well-being do you have friends that care about your well-being do you 
like it. Uh, this this part uh, of the Bible, this Luke five seventeen to twenty, is a food for thoughts, a serious food for thoughts for you. Do you know? Um, a few days ago, I saw a post on Instagram. I saw I came across no, I didn't come across I didn't come across it randomly. It was Oni Oni is um Adeze Space's sister. So Adeze Space sister Oni shared a video on her Insta stories, and I saw somebody else. I don't even know the person. She she, she it was a girls' night. It was like a prayer night that they hosted, like a group of friends, about seven or ten friends. They actually came together and hosted like a prayer night. They ate, they prayed, they worshipped, they praised. They, they shared um, testimonies, they spoke with each other, they journaled, they did a lot of things just to glorify God. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it must be nice to have a group of friends like this. Like, I've, I've gotten to the point in my life where the only thing that is important to me right now is spiritual goods. Nothing else matters to me right now other than spiritual goods. And you know that's my goal for the year. And I've been working so hard towards it. And I am so happy. I keep saying it all the time that I'm so happy with my growth spiritually. And it's going to go up from there. So I saw that post and I craved such friendship. I craved to, to have such a group, to have such an experience. There is nothing as important as having friends that add value to your life spiritually. Friends that pray for you. Friends that care for your well-being. Friends that that care about your growth and development okay there's another post i saw there's another post that okay it was a testimony one lady and is it um Oluwotu? i can't remember her name toke is tokesha not the token we all know it did another toke she shared her testimony on her insta stories i don't even know if it's still on her page right now but I, she shared a testimony on insta story this lady had stroke she had stroke it was clearly an attack an evil attack but God healed her by his mercies and his grace. But what stood out for me, especially in that lady's story, is that her friends, her sister and her friends rallied around her. They came through for her. They prayed for her. They did not stop praying for her. They did not stop helping her spiritually. They covered her up. People did not even know what she was going through. Her friends, even I think one of them even flew in from, flew down from the UK to stay with her till she got well. And I'm very sure she didn't get well. It took a long time for her to get well. It took months for her to get well. She had friends that were ready to, ready and willing to sacrifice their time for her, which also shows the kind of friend she must have been because I was teaching the children today also that it's not about your friends being good to you. You have to also be a good friend. You get? So, what kind of friends do we have? What kind of friends do you have? What kind of friends do I have? It also reminds me of Tom, Tommy K. We all know Tommy K now. Tommy K do you on YouTube and on Instagram. So, I watched her video. The video where she talked about how um, she gave a testimony of her, the, the, her birth story. Her baby boy. You know, the devil tried. Ha! The devil tried to take that boy, but God said no. God said no. Anyway, the part in her testimony that really touched me and also made me cry was the part where she talked about how her friends, her best friend Ada and one of her other friends, during the course of her pregnancy, I think one of them had a dream. Had a bad dream about her. Abi, was it both of them that had dreams, separate dreams about her? Do you know? They did not tell her the dream because they did not want to make her panic. They, they didn't want to make her scared. What did they do? They started to pray for her. They told each other about the dream. And they started to pray for her. I think sometimes they would call her and then pray with her. But she did not know why they were praying with her. It was after she gave birth that they told her what happened. And she was like, oh, okay, no wonder. But the point is that these friends of hers took it upon themselves to pray for their friend. Do you have friends that, I don't know, do you have friends that pray for you, that, that, that are willing to bring out their time to fast for you, to pray for you, that share things with you that would help you grow spiritually, that care about you, like care about everything, everything concerning you. Do you have friends like that? Those are the kind of friends I want to have now. No more, see, I've passed the stage of making friends that gossip. Friends that, that that talk nonsense. Friends that like friends that that things that are important to them are party, clothes, fashion, shoes, all that. Mm, I got to go that stage. I'm not. I've passed that level. What I want now, eh? 
is friends that will build me up spiritually and friends that i will build up spiritually as well i want to have a group of friends that we gather to pray together like like that that's praise night that's um that prayer night those other group of friends did do you know yesterday again i also saw a group of friends again but these ones were white people they rented an airbnb they were just praising and worshiping just praising and worshiping a group of friends both male and female the other one the first one i saw were only ladies but this other one i saw yesterday a group of white people male and female they rented out an airbnb and then they were praising god all night singing and worshiping they even brought instruments my god it must be so nice like i really want to experience that kind of thing i want friends that are like that honestly that's pray for each other help each other spiritually what <laughs> do you have friends like that do you have do you have a group of friends that are like that how often do you do it so today i was teaching my kids jesus kids about this it's part of what it's part of the lessons that they learned today from luke chapter 5 that we read and i said i was going to come here and share this and share this see eh? you know eh, you see this thing that they say that when people as you get older your priorities change it's true it's really 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 true my priorities has changed and it's it's just amazing i i like it actually it's not a bad thing i give god all the glory for it yeah so share with me in the comment section do you have group of friends that come together that pray that study the bible and all that do you let me know is it like a whatsapp group is it on zoom do you come together physically like renting out airbnb to do the praise night or something how how does it how do you do it how do you do it i mean i mean this luke chapter 5 17 to 20 i read it and then it took on a new a whole new meaning for me a whole new meaning for me even though they did not say specifically that those men were that paralyzed man's friends I believe they were his friends they didn't say they are his family either they just said some men so which some men other than friends because random men will not go through that trouble for somebody that they don't really know it's only your friends that love you so much that can do that for you that's why i assume that they were his friends do you think they were his friends okay even if they were not his friends they are people people so what kind of people do you surround us go away what kind of people do you surround yourself with i think that is a call to action that we should re-evaluate our friendships re-evaluate your friendships we are not getting younger i am not getting younger you you are not getting younger every year age anaga time anaga hmm? let us set our priorities straight there are things that should matter more than other things now yeah all right so me i've film finish you i have i've share finish have your see next saturday we are gathering again the meetings happen every saturday so if your children have not started joining us they should join it's free they are not paying money they are not paying shishi it's just we gather and study the bible what inspired this hmm? when i was younger i think i was a teenager then i have always had this person in my heart to teach children to teach children the bible when i was way 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 younger then eh, i will conduct bible study back then i will use my money that small money that i had i will buy exercise books then i'll buy erasers pencils sharpeners i'll buy goodies then i will conduct bible study quiz for children then some of them will win i loved doing things like that and then last year it became pressed greatly upon my heart to do to start up bible study for children but i did not know how to go about it so i just disregarded it and then this year the pressing got even stronger and then i now got the direction of how to go which is zoom zoom meetings and then here we are i started it and another reason why it became pressed upon my heart even more and i made it a priority is because things are happening now children are exposed to so much they are working hard to steal our children and we cannot let that happen i for one cannot let that happen so please let your children join us okay they have nothing to lose but so much to gain the see the screen on the screen you will see the details it's going to be in the description box it's also going to be pinned in the comment section i'm going to be i always share flyers even on my community 
on those saturdays i share flyers i share the link for them to click and it's always two hours just two hours come prepared knowing that your children are going to be occupied for two hours most of these children have tablets most of them has have have phones my school has phones most of these children have tablets most of them have phones what are they using it to do Shebi is game. They are playing game. Uh -huh. This one is more important than game. If you want to be sure to vet the Bible study, to be sure that we are talking about what we say we are talking about, you can join. You can just sit in the corner and be listening to what we are talking about. Okay? So that you will be rest assured and let your children join. But please, let them be joining. Okay? Thank you so much. God bless you. Stay safe, stay blessed. We are going to see ourselves in the next one. Kills, kills.